Welcome, I'm Dr. Tom Warren, and you're watching The Plant Doctor. What I'm doing today, we are taking out our pansies and we're gonna put in our summer annuals. I want to walk you through my step-by-step -step process. I have a very, very successful program with uh, the fertilizers and the implementation of rejuvenating the soil that has really, really good results. Uh, last year, this bed was full of coleus. I'll leave that video here, how I grow really, really huge coleus. This year's a little bit different. I'm not doing just coleus. What I'm gonna do this year, I'm gonna terrace this bed with a mixture of purples and yellows and some reds and oranges mixed in between. If you've ever looked at a color wheel, complementary colors go directly across from each other. So purples and yellows go really well with each other. Oranges and blues go really well with each other. So we're gonna have a mixture of those colors going through this bed. I'm gonna start in the front with some Vinca, and then we're gonna put in some Persian Shield in behind it, it's also purple. So we have purple Vinca, purple Persian Shield. Then we're gonna have some orange colored Lantana, and then in the back we'll have some yellow Lantana and those will get really, really large. They should be three, four feet tall by the end of the summer. But the first thing we have to do is pull out these pansies. And so really all we need to do is just, they come up very easy. We just shake off the existing soil that's on the roots. So what I'm gonna do here, I know you didn't tune in to watch me pull up pansies, so I'm gonna fast forward this. So now that our pansies are out of the ground, I'm going to start to amend this soil. The first step to this is I'm gonna add some mushroom compost to this soil. And all I wanna do is, I'm gonna take this bag, I'm just gonna go back and forth across this annual bed. So now that we have this mushroom compost on top of the annual bed, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in, I'm just gonna start turning this over a little bit. I want to incorporate this into my bed. So in years past, I've added miracle Grow potting soil to this bed, and it's built up pretty good. There's a lot of perlite, vermiculite, peat moss in here already. So all I'm doing really is just supplementing that with some mushroom compost. If you've never installed an annual bed before, put down miracle Grow potting mix first. And then in subsequent years, what you can do is come back in and amend that with certain amendments. This year, I'm gonna use mushroom compost. Uh, you can use brown cow. You can use milorganite. Any of those products would work very good with that. So now that this is turned over a little bit, I'm gonna go back through and I'm going to rake this out even. Any weeds, any remnants of pansies, any vegetative material in, at all that is in here, we're going to remove. The next step we wanna do is add some sort of slow release fertilizer. And what I have here is Osmocote. This is a 120 day slow release blend. And we're just gonna evenly distribute this out across the bed. I do this before I put any type of mulch down. I don't want the fertilizer to be showing on top of the mulch. Once we have an even distribution of slow release fertilizer in our bed, now we can put in our mulch. What I like to use is pine bark mini nuggets. So pine bark mini nuggets are gonna give us an opportunity to be able to put the mulch down first and then plant our annuals through that mulch and it still look pretty good. I, I've done bulky mulch, I've done pine straw, you name it. And I found that pine bark mini nuggets are by far the best mulch for my annual beds. And so the next thing that we need to do is place our annuals. And so I've got annuals from a mix of several different places. Some of these came from Lowe's, for example, these Vinca. And some of them came from my local retail garden center, Pax Nurseries. They're a great friend of mine. They're a great friend of the channel and also to the horticulture department where I teach at Sneed State. And I, I would encourage you to always support your local retail garden center. Yes, you're gonna pay a little bit more when you go to your retail garden center. However, the people that work there have extensive knowledge in plants that you're not necessarily gonna get when you go to somewhere like a big box store, and it's worth paying a dollar or two more 
for their expertise. Plus you're supporting small business. Okay, so here are our purple Vinca. In behind that, we're gonna pin in some of these Persian shields and they've gotten a little leggy on me. So my initial intention was to film this actually like two weeks ago. But um, what happened is despite being fully vaccinated, I got a pretty nasty case of COVID. I still have a little cough. And then the week after that, we had family vacation. We went out west to the Mountain West. And um, here I am almost three weeks later putting in summer annuals. Uh, family obligations being sick is just the way it goes. So I've got in our purples, our, our purple Vinca, our Persian shields. I got a little leggy on me. These lantana got a little leggy on me, but they'll be okay. So these lantana, I'm going to put in around three of these orangish red color lantana. And these get big. They'll get two or three feet tall, two or three feet around, so I can space them out really well. And then behind them, what we will do, I'm gonna put in three of these landmark yellow lantana. And it won't look like much right now, but I promise in like another 30 days, I'll come out here and film it and you'll be like, wow, those look so great. And we're gonna go with something like that. So now all we gotta do is plant. And what I like to use to plant is just this little homatic, okay? And because the reason being just, that's it, my hole's dug. We're gonna massage that vinca out of the root ball. My hole is dug, but the dirt fell back in. All right, there's one. Here's two. I got about five of these out right now. And so just like before, what I'll do is I'm gonna fast forward the planting of these. I don't want to insult your intelligence on how to plant. I think you all know that the root ball, the top of the root ball goes level with the top of the soil layer. And so we'll just fast forward through some of this while I talk. Now these Vinca, they're gonna fill in as well. They'll make a nice mass. All of this will mass together I'm gonna say here within 30 days. So by the 4th of July, all this stuff will just be one big giant mass. It'll, it'll be really, really pretty and you won't even be able to see the mulch. We're about five weeks out from where we last ended with the installation of this annual color. The Vincas in the front look really great. The Solomon's shield in behind it has filled in nicely. We have wonderful yellows, oranges, and reds back here behind me with the lantana. One thing I thought I lost in the flash freeze of 2022 is I have some red verbenas in here as well. That's a perennial for me. I thought I lost them during that freeze, but they have come back in the past four weeks or so, and they are starting to bloom. Just a beautiful annual bed here, and we're going to continue to make it beautiful. How did I get it here from what we started with? Well. We started with great soil. We used our mushroom compost. We added a slow release fertilizer to that. And then what I've been doing is alternating every other Monday. So on the first and third Mondays of the month, I water with liquid miracle Grow, And then the second and fourth Mondays of the month, I water with humic acid. I'll leave a link down in the description below for both of those products. All the products I'm talking about, I'll leave links down below. And this is the result, just some beautiful, healthy plants. This is the good side. I have a bad side I wanna show you. I, I wanna have full disclosure here. It's nothing that I did or my wife did or anybody else did, but we've got a big problem on the other side of this annual bed. So let's go take a look at it. So here's the other side of the annual bed. We have a path that divides this annual bed in half that goes to the patio here behind me. You may notice in the front here, something's missing all but one way over here on the right. My vinca have disappeared. What happened was this, you may can still see there's a little hole right there in front of the Solomon shield. I think I had an armadillo come in one night. I woke up one morning, I came out here to water and the vinca were kind of scattered all over the place and there was a big hole right in the middle of the vinca. I've had issues with the armadillos in the past, 
never in my flower beds. It's always been in the turf, but they got in my flower beds this time. I know it's not aesthetic, but I'm gonna leave it as is here in the front. Reason being is I can't get the vinca that I have on the other side to plant over here and match it. It would be off. I'm just gonna leave it. We're in midsummer uh, here in another two or three months. We're gonna rip all this out anyway, put in pansies. But I wanted to show you the incredible growth you can get if you start with really good potting mix, you add some, but I wanted to show you the results you get when you start with really good potting mix, a slow release fertilizer, you put some liquid feed on it about once a week and you add humic acid. Guys, as always, thank you for watching The Plant Doctor and until next time, happy gardening.